I mean, no, no disrespect. Please don't tear me up in the comments. This tear just... her up. Tear her ass up. Do it, I guess. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we did one video and called it a series called Queer Tier. Today we're doing a Queer Tier on LGBT ships. We chose 10 popular couples, so if yours isn't included, leave a comment, we'll pick the most popular and make another one. We chose Violet today. We're angry and we're gonna take it out on the list. Some Absolutely. Less. Sorry, I cut you off now, but it's fine. We don't know what we're getting into. I might not even know some of these names. This is gonna get intense, so if you're gonna hate on us, do it in the comments, because we don't read them. <laughs> <laughs> No, we do, we do, we do. If you like the aggression, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and yeah, leave a comment about your favorite ship. Shall we jump in, Paige? <gasps> no, we must put on our goggles. And we dive right in. Welcome to Queer Tier. First couple today, Paige, is Villanelle and Eve from Killing Eve. Awesome. Bullshit. 10. 10 of 10. Bullshit. Up until the last season, top three for sure. Last season, 10. Argue with me. Okay, I have never watched this. I watched three episodes and I didn't really get the vibes going on there. You also don't think Jodie Comer's hot. No, so I don't. The issue lies with you. So I would also agree for now, the bottom of the list. From what I've heard, the storyline isn't that good based on how angry you are. All I know is she bangs some dude and rocks the shit out of him in a bed in season one. <laughs> I just don't see it for them. I don't see it. And I haven't watched it, so <laughs> fight me. Riley from Happiest Season. Don't need to know their names, just know that it's Kristen Stewart and her girlfriend in Happiest Season. That is the devil spawn of we a relationship. We could make a hate video in December about how much we f***ing hated Happiest Season. You know what? We really should. In the Christmas spirit, just f***ing roast that movie. So if you guys want that, let us know. That movie was bullshit. Was bull the acting was so bad. I feel like our spawns... <laughs> <laughs> Our acting in response was better than that movie. That's what I feel like. There was no connection. Also, she just kept taking her back over and over again. She was better with the ex. Yes, who was hot. And better suited. Yes, and a good person, yeah. They are by far the bottom. I you agree. Tenth. Yeah, yeah. Villain Eve up. up. Happy season down. Yeah. All right, I like that. Reviving. That's Reviving. good. That's good. Nice. Santana and Britney from Glee. I've never watched Glee in my entire life. I did for a bit, purely for the gay storyline. I didn't even know there was a gay storyline, so that's news. Okay. Is that what Drake was in, in the wheelchair? No. <laughs> Wait, what show was that? He wasn't in Glee? What the f*** was he in? <laughs> there was a different kid in a wheelchair in Glee. Wait, what? What's Drake in? I don't know, it's Canadian. You tell me. Hey Google, what show was Drake in? Hey Google! Drake stars in 14 TV shows. Here are the first three. Degrassi, the next Degrassi. generation. Hey Google! Stop! Degrassi! Isn't that another musical show? No. Oh f There's a lot of talk about males for a WLW ship ranking I'm video. sorry, I screwed that up real time bad today. So you watched Glee? Just for the gay storyline. Okay. Have you listened to a word I've said? I have, gay? but like I thought you were kind of just like, you knew of it. I didn't I'm gonna, know you actually watched. I'm gonna put them at seven. What were you thinking? I'll put them at a nine, just cause... We have nine already. Should seven. we compromise at eight? Eight it is. Done. We've got all the low ones. I hope there's some good couples coming <laughs> we around because we've all been shut. Alex and Piper from Orange is the New Black. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> we're getting to some more quality content. It's just quality because you know them. <laughs> you True. Do. Hey, this is not based on facts. This is based on my reality, and my reality is facts. <laughs> All right, so what number? I would move them way up the list. We can give them top spot and see who knocks them off. You gotta think history, sexy history, yes. enemies to lovers, oh. hot prison sex, yes. but Piper did choose a man in between. Does it knock her points? Who knows, that may affect her later on. I'm just glad they're together, but I never watched the finale, so don't tell me if they actually end up together. Well, Piper cheated on Alex with Ruby Rose. I feel like I've missed a lot. <laughs> Keep them at one. Okay. <laughs> Mark and Lexa from The 100. <sighs> I love them. I have nothing bad to say about them other than the f 
writing, which I guess could be Villanelle's demise too, but don't you dare put your vanilla bitch on the same level as Klexa. <laughs> don't you dare. That is a disgrace. <laughs> If you guys don't know me, I'm gonna tell you about me. My whole heart and soul is Klexa. I'm gonna barely say it without tearing up. I have never witnessed a love like that. To this day, I mourn the loss. I will not dare speak its name. I have been severely impacted that to this day, I'm reading smutty, smutty fanfic. Are you I'm still, kidding, really? I'm still doing that on a weekly basis. I used to read so much smutty fanfic of them, but I've kind of like tailed off a bit now. Why? Well, I've like switched from reading to listening to sexy stories actually. Uh, Bitch, how the hell are you doing that? With Dipsy, of course. Today's sponsor. Oh my God. Are you tired of filtering through fanfics to find that perfect one to match your mood? Isn't it annoying when you want a smutty one and you have to fight through all the fluff? Or when you're in a romantic mood and there's a bit too much of <clears throat> these words? Well, say goodbye to fanfic and hello to Dipsy. Dipsy is an app full of hundreds of short, sexy audio stories designed by women for women. Filter stories with a wide range of options and get ready for the scenarios to come to life with immersive soundscapes and realistic characters. Find stories about enemies to lovers, forbidden hookups, and more. Not to mention, Dipsy is radically inclusive, with a majority of their stories being queer, as well as 56% of their entire library voiced by people of color. Color. New content is released every week, so there will always be something new to explore. If you guys are interested, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you head to dipsystories.com forward slash Paige Holly. Check them out, get your sexy times on with a partner, alone, wherever you are, plug it in, you won't regret it. Promise. Seriously, best thing we ever did. <laughs> Wait, where's Klexa on the list? We have to go with the number one yeah, here. Five types and Alex. See ya. See ya. <laughs> it's implanted in the soul. I have Klexa down my back. Sorry. Okay, we're moving on. Yeah. We're moving on. Next couple is Anne and Anne from Gentleman Jack. Have we seen Gentleman Jack? No. Anne and Anne is giving Rose and Rosie vibes, don't you think? It is, but it's like taking it to a whole new level. Gentleman Jack, what is that show? It's kind of set in like olden day English times, I think. And they're gay I in the olden days? I think it's Elizabethan days? era. <gasps> okay, go off, sis. Yeah, whimsical. I think back in those days, it was like, you have to be married to a man. You have to pump kids out yeah. like crazy. So it's like, yeah, go against the system. I do love that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of maybe cute and quirky that they've got the same name and also bonnets and shit. Like if they were like throwing their bonnets off. How do you sexily rip each other's clothes off when you're in one of those corsets? You've got to undo all the laces like a big converse shoe. I don't know, but you got some big toes <laughs> coming out after that. After you release that shoe. <laughs> Moving on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Should we say f and go three? I say f and go three. Respect. Not that now is not also respect, but especially for that time, bitch. Shit is hard enough now. I can't even imagine back then. You just dig yourself a hole. And when you try and dig yourself out, you just go deeper and deeper and deeper. I'm just trying to speak my mind. I know, that's the issue. <laughs> Frankie and Bridget from Wentworth. Loving them, absolutely. Very strong couple, strong. very sexy, attractive couple. Mm -hmm. Good relationship, Good relationship. bonding yeah. in jail. We love a jail story, don't we? We do. Frankie was like a cactus, right? She's like hard and prickly and hard to penetrate and then inside she's like soft and you wanna take care of her. But you've yes. gotta break the exterior first and I love that trope. I know. Oh my god. Yes. We really do stand the hard exterior gooey inside. Do you think that's kind of like me? Yes. You're just a little gooey puddle. <laughs> Frankie and Bridget gotta be up there. You want them to get together. It was a slow burn. She brought out such a good side in Frankie and showed her that she deserves to find love. I would say f it to Anne Squared and I would say f it to Piper and Alex. I would also say f it. I move on now. But is it Klexa level? No, no, don't say that. You're just saying that because you're obsessed with Alicia Debnam Carey. No. Yes, also their relationship. She said F it and did everything for Clark. Would you admire that in someone? Got giving all up all their hopes and dreams for their partner? I think it's noble. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Okay, here's the thing. Because it's very, very close. If it came down to couple names, Plexa versus Bridget, Plexa wins. Bridget! 
Jet or Branky? Ew! <laughs> ew! That sounds like Binky! <laughs> Next! Arizona and Cali. From Grace. Oh shit! Sometimes it just takes me a second, you know? <laughs> Aren't they like a long running couple? And it kind of came out in a time where lesbian couples weren't necessarily like forefront. Yes, yeah, so that's where I'm getting that's a little points. biased here. Points. I don't even know if I had barely come out to myself yet. I don't even know if I had. I remember being really happy to see it on TV and like have some representation. The early 2000s were just like, bitch that just didn't exist unless it was on like teal tequila and that really was not a great example of women in relationships <laughs> with each not, other no. or anybody ready set eat swallow those balls and penises do you have any input like do you know anything about them um, being together i know nothing other than the reaction video that we did about them i give them extra points for coming in at a time where it wasn't popular so below and squared below Maybe oh above God. Ann Squared. We don't know enough about Ann Squared to do much. Other than they were ripping off each other's frocks. And bonnets. And long socks. They must have really wanted each other to take 30 minutes to untrack. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I could answer this without being biased, but that's not what today's show is. I'm gonna put them above Ann Squared. F it. Tina and Bet from The L Word. Ooh. Amazing couple, still very iconic now. Everyone knows Tina and Beth. Yes, but also they're infuriating. So much f shit happens and you go, why the f I they know, but that? that's why they're iconic. Because it's not a simple love story. It's not one dimensional. You're rooting for them, then you f hate one, then you f hate the other. Just as things go right, they go wrong. It's the ultimate oh, angsty, slow burn. Smut filled. Fiction. We grew up with this. They paved the way for basically everyone on this list. They walked so Anne Squared could <laughs> run. <laughs> Anne Squared. That's gonna be the ship name from now on I for them. So I know nothing about it, but yeah. that's gonna be the ship name. I'm gonna do something crazy. If you're gonna f move all I'm of them gonna down. I'm gonna move all of them down. Think about it. Think about it and tell me I'm right. No, but are they together now? We haven't watched. Doesn't matter. Do you want them to be together? <sighs> Put them number one. <gasps> I didn't think you'd ever do that. I know. Oh, you're no longer Lex's biggest fan. I'm only stop. You're it. You're done now. How dare you? No one will ever believe you. You're so messed up. Sorry, it's gone. Dropped your badge. Oops. <laughs> it's always <laughs> with me. I mean, no, no disrespect. Please don't tear me up in the comments. This tear her just... up. Tear her ass up. Do it. I <laughs> Comment if you've made it this far so no one knows what the hell you're talking about. Scissors and a peach. We're tearing that ass up. Yuli and Tina. Oh my god. We said, this seems like a regular story with no drama. And then all of you were like, there's so much drama. You must watch right now. Yeah. Drama, wanting to be together, destined, hot, hot scene, as fuck. I think that they are actually the hottest couple of all these. If we're going purely based off of appearance, wow. And cool representation. Yep. Because most of these gals are white. It do be true. So I have to take into account the actual relationship as well. It can't just be hotness, otherwise I would have Klex up there. Oh, hold on, one sec. You said that I'm Tina, but you vote Klexa above in hotness. Yes, because you're Lexa. I thought it was Tina. I mean, Bet. Holy shit, you're saying a lot of names. 20 minutes later. You are Bet, but you don't look like Bet. You look like Lexa. Hence why Bet and Klexa and Tina are all in the top two. One hour later. Arizona and Cali down. Piper and Alex down. Mm. Piper and Alex up. No. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Two hours later. Frankie and Bridget though, above? No. Frankie and Bridget, Bri wait, what? Frankie and Bridget above? Frankie and Bri Bridget above who? Three hours later. <laughs> happiest season. Every time I see I know, I'm just so like, like oh. what's below 10? Mm. The dead zone. Put that down. Many months later. Frankie and Bridget are three. Four. Who? You and Dina. Jesus Christ, you just keep <laughs> only saying half those sentences. Three thousand years later. Okay. Done. Let's I not overanalyze anymore. <clears throat> Here's a list. In summary, we have Tina and Bat as number one. Yes. Great couple. Love it. They've got a baby. Nice. Klexa, number two. Mommy's little girl. No, not uh, sorry. <laughs> Number three, we have Frankie and Bridget, hot, sexy, love it. Number four, Yuli and Tina, sexy as fuck. Number five, Piper and Alex, there we are with that jailbird love story. Number six, Arizona Cali, I don't f know, mid-tier. And squared, not said. Santana and Brittany, we don't know Glee well enough. Villeneuve, f 
everything about Villeneuve. And below ground, happiest season. More like saddest season. <laughs> we want to do a roast of that movie. Let us know if you want to see it. Other than that, let us know about any ships that you want us to react to down below. We're definitely up for making more of these. Hopefully we didn't piss you off too much. Love ya. Love ya. Bye. Bye.